But the reasons, why did I uh, swing REPH? How was I able to make you know, over $500 on REPH? How was I able to make this profit? Well, if we look at this, again, our chart set up. This is my swing from last night, currently up 3% in pre-market and looking for a move up towards around $10 today. I'm holding right now because of the following reasons. And I want you guys to understand these reasons. Number one, we had an update on this press release on Tuesday, which led to the, gap, gap, uh, the stock gapping up from 636 to going all the way up towards around $8. As you guys can see right here, REPH has a credible reason for that gap up. Right here, we have our update, and the update led to the nice gap up uh, on this play. After that, a lower shadow formed, which shows that the stock fell down to this mark, had enough strength to get back up to this mark, and then we had a solid you know, green day yesterday. So we had a lower shadow form Tuesday, which is a sign of strength as the stock was green yesterday. So it fell, was able to come back all the way up, and now buyers are pushing in from that update. Yesterday, we also broke through the 200-day moving average, as you guys can see, breaking through this red line. So we broke that 200-day moving average. We have room to run all the way to 1050. And then we have a presentation tonight, which could possibly bring in the hype. So REPH was a great play yesterday in after hours, just being, or excuse me, yesterday in the power hour, seeing the stock go on a nice run. But again, I held it overnight and I was able to get out at around this 910 ish area. So let me uh, look at this really quickly. Do, do. I'll even show you guys my exits on this. I'm just going to bring this over. So we have REPH right here. Again, my exits this morning, I have 905, 912, 905, 904, and $9. And that's how I was able to make my profit today. So uh, that's REPH right there. That was, you know, the play that I was I woke up and said, hey, you know what? Solid swing. I'll take it. Now, today I gave back my profit during the day. And why did I give back my profit? And uh, you guys have, you know, seen this. Uh, my, my TD Ameritrade went a little crazy, right? So let's kind of let's talk about why I wanted to hop in the play I wanted to get into, and let's talk about you know what happened. So first off, we have ABAC. ABAC right here. This is the stock I wanted to get into the, uh, get into, and this play it didn't have any sort of news, but this stock did have a gap up in pre market, and at the start of the day it did get volume. It went from two dollars all the way up towards around three twenty four. Now off of no news and a low volume stock and a low vo and a low a float stock. I'm saying to myself, what's going on here? Why is there you know, hype? And still, it's still holding its gains. This stock had a gap up off no news, no filing. The stock broke through the 50-day, broke through the 200-day, ran all the way up to the $3 mark. Then it started coming back on down. But it's not you know, just dumping on off. It's actually holding its gains, which could lead towards a possible pop coming on up. So what did I see? I saw ABAC go on a nice spike. It's inside this channel between 260, comes back down towards around 230, comes back up towards, again, right around that 260-ish mark, comes back down towards around 235, comes up towards around that 260 mark. And what I wanted to look for was what? The break right here. I thought, again, we come back down, get a little bounce play. That's why you got some upper shadows. Come back down, you bounce on up, come back down, bounce on up. You got a little bit of higher lows, little trend line. I ultimately wanted to see ABAC all the way up to $3, right? So I bought in on ABAC. As you guys know, right at what price? I believe it was at 250 ABAC right here. Where is my initial? I was in at uh, 254. I was in at 254 on ABAC because I was like, hey, I expect this to break, you know, 260 and run up towards around 270. So it broke 254, starts running on up towards around 260, breaks 260. Again, I market in another 1,000 shares. Now my cost basis is 258. So my cost basis is 258 with 2,000 shares. And I'm saying, okay, you know, I ultimately want to see this up towards $3, but if 275, 270 resistance is tough, I could just mark it out there. So the stock starts climbing, 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 and it gets to 271, 272. I lock in 1,000 shares, as you guys know, and then what happens? TD Ameritrade, my platform froze. So my platform froze. I have 1,000 shares locked out, and now the stock is starting to turn on down. Right now, the stock is starting to turn. I have a thousand shares. I go over to my web browser, www.tdameritrade.com. I sign in on tdameritrade.com. I go to uh, trade. I go to um, place an order. I press sell 1,000 shares. Still, my platform is frozen. And all of a sudden, on my platform, we see a 1,000 uh, 1, bid 
just went through. So a bid just went, or a market order on a buy just went through. So now I'm in another 2,000 shares. My call space is now is upwards of uh, up near around that 260 mark. And now I'm saying, what the heck is going on? Why is this happening? I'm just trying to stay positive and laugh it off. Then what starts going on? ABAC, um, uh, or excuse me, ABAC starts consolidating. It does hold. It does hold. Uh, you know, around that 260 mark. So I really can't complain about that. Uh, I do do that old-fashioned central alt delete. Bring up the task manager. Finally, exit out my TD Ameritrade, restart it, restart the live stream. It comes up. Now I'm in another thousand shares on TD Ameritrade. I'm in another thousand shares on TD Ameritrade. And what do we see here? Now I'm sitting 3,000 shares on TD Ameritrade. And again, you know, partially I'm just trying to figure out the best way to play this stock because I wasn't expecting to be in this long anymore if the stock wasn't able to get up to $3. And again, I can definitely take some sort of blame. I was playing the trend line right here. I start playing the trend line. The stock comes back down to towards around 254. So the stock comes back down towards around 254. And what happens? I'm trying to get out. But my normal setup isn't there, right? My normal setup isn't there. And what do I mean by my normal setup? So you can see right here, you know, a total of 4,000 shares and I was only supposed to have 2,000. My normal setup, what I usually have, and again, it's still not the way I like it, is I have auto send on and off. I have order templates out. I have position indicator. I have TIF. I have working indicators. None of that's there right now. I can't even pick how many shares I want to buy or sell. Excuse me. So it's only let me, you know, market order out a thousand if I want to. So eventually the stock starts falling more. And then right here I click flatten, which just gets me out of my position 100%. And that's when the stock, you know, dropped down to 230. And that's when I got out with a $528 loss. So, you know, I was trying to stay as positive as I could about it. But this all started because, again, my TD Ameritrade account just completely froze. I was clicking, clicking on sell, trying to get out up towards around the two, high 260s. And it just wouldn't. I would have finished, you know, with another $150. Would have been up about $700. Um, or would have been up, you know, a good $150, bucks, you know, plus uh, my, my swing trade profit. So, you know, that's what I really wanted, you know, just a nice little play right there. But unfortunately, you know, I, I got caught up. It happens. I'm not, you know, furious or anything. I mean, it happens. Um, as I said, you know, this has been an awesome stock trading year for myself. I'm up over $120,000 in just penny stock profits alone, which is absolutely great uh, for the year making. Again, roughly, I always shoot for what? I always shoot for $10,000 a month. That's what I always shoot for, $10,000 a month. And I, again, live stream every single trade as you guys see. And as you guys see, I usually make somewhere between nine to $12,000 average. So I usually make around nine to $12,000 average. Um, and that usually brings me to about, you know, a hundred, you know, 130 to $140,000 a year, you know, trading penny stocks. So uh, it's, you know, not too, not too shabby. You know, I enjoy it, you know, 100%. And now if I have one, if I have one TD Ameritrade mistake where they freeze up my screen and I take a $500 loss, am I, you know, furious flipping things out? I'm not happy about it. But at the same time, I did already make $500 this morning. So I basically just gave back my profit. You know, I just gave back and I'm just even on the day now. So now I'm just, you know, completely $0 out on the day. And, um, you know, right now I'm just uh, basically starting fresh. Starting fresh for uh, starting fresh for you know, what today? Thursday, September six. So that's what you know I should do. Take a breath. Who? Good morning. It is Thursday, September six. Let's dive back into this day. <laughs> so again, basically starting the day over now. So, uh, but yeah, today was definitely an interesting day. It was awesome to see my swing trade work out exactly how I wanted. But at the same time, ABAC and TD Ameritrade, you know, did give me some issues. But I'm excited to see what's going to be coming up the rest of the day. You know, absolutely. I'm excited to see what's going to be coming up the rest of the day. What stock's going to be the best runner? What stock's going to be the best ripper? We haven't seen a lot of afternoon um, activity uh, to see if we're going to be getting any sort of spikes there. We haven't seen a lot of spikes in the afternoon, usually starting around like 2.30. So, hey, we'll see what's going to be happening there and uh, if we're going to be getting any sort of rips or runs. So, awesome job for the traders who did make some nice profit today um you know i hope you guys enjoyed this morning so far i know some of you guys at least you know you got some good entertainment from my td ameritrade you know freezing and me just trying to figure out the right way to handle that situation uh so it was definitely you know something out of the blue but at the same time you know i still had some fun with it and uh, i'm excited to see what's going to be coming up next so again awesome job today so far and i'm excited to see what's going to be coming up in this future